Good morning, everyone. This story is a big talker over on our Facebook page. Definitely join the conversation and let us know what you think about this. Today, thousands of students and teachers are returning to the classroom in Cabarrus County. Doing that as the numbers are showing one of the highest positivity rates of COVID-19 yet in Cabarrus, which is why the Cabarrus County Health Alliance, they're recommending that they put in-person learning on hold again, even though that's not what's happening now. But the school board, they voted last week and they wanted to start Plan B and they're starting it today. So students are going to be in school two days a week and then virtual three days. Now this has been getting a lot of reaction. As I said, some uh, people are concerned from parents to teachers. A lot of them though are saying that they will be there, but they're terrified including one teacher we talked to who's pregnant. She says she's high risk, but she needs her job. I will be there tomorrow because I need my job, but um, I'll be praying hard the whole day. <laughs> Definitely thoughts, prayers go out to her and everybody that's going to be in the classroom. You guys have been weighing in on how you feel about this over on our Facebook page. Johnny says schools need to stay virtual, but then Susan commented and said that kids are not big COVID spreaders. So of course we wanna know what you think about this. Join the conversation and use our hashtag WakeUpCLT. Ben, I'll send it back to you. This is such a hard one. I mean, the science does seem to show that, that, that kids don't spread COVID at the same rate that adults do, unfortunately schools need grown-ups to operate them <laughs> and so we've got to worry about the the adults and the teachers and the administrators and the bus drivers and, and, and things like that as well I, I know there's there's no easy answer but people are so so frustrated at, at this point and and I get it I get it Rachel thank you